so glitched capes are all over the player base. Whether it be the black on black skull capes, completely unique ideas, or even Optifine designs that break the pattern limit. But plenty of people don't understand how to make their own capes glitched, or what it even means to have a glitched cape. This video will go over three topics regarding glitched Optifine capes. How to create them, the side effects of a glitched Optifine cape, and why it works. So making a glitched banner design is very simple. All you have to do is remove the base pattern design, which is done by removing the first two characters in the URL once you have your desired banner design. This will make the base banner design pitch black with a hex code of zero. The color you're given for designs has the hex code of 1A1A1A. With this in mind, we could add a normal black design over a glitched black base to create this. As well as this, or E, okay, you get the point. The website doesn't recognize the pitch black design, so you'll have to do this near blind. Luckily, there is a website you can use to help you design your own glitched banners. The link to this website will be in the description. To use it, just go to the Optifine Cape Types and click on Optifine. Click on the Edit Optifine Banner option and copy and paste the end of the URL of your banner design, but just be sure to remove the first two characters to make sure it's glitched. We can abuse the way how the URL is read to create valid Optifine Cape design past the pattern limit, but that'll be explained later in the video, so be sure to watch to the end. So there will be side effects to having glitched Optifine Capes. Since the website doesn't recognize the glitched black as a pattern, this will make it have few abnormal traits. Reloading the page or adding or deleting a new pattern design with your glitched banner design will add back the two characters you deleted, making it no longer glitched. Using the Optifine.net website to obtain a glitched Optifine design will ruin it. This will be explained later, so long you stick around. Accessing a glitched banner design through a link in chat message or DM will avert it from being glitched. You'll have to copy it directly from chat to use it. When making a banner design, the website uses a simple system to read patterns and their colors. For each new pattern you add to a design, two new characters will be added to the URL. The first character of the new two corresponds to the color. A chart will be in the description to show what characters represent which color. An example would be the color dark green would be having the character shown as a capital C. Meanwhile, light blue would be represented as a lowercase m. The second character of the new two corresponds to the added pattern. This works the same way the colors are read. The flower charge design would be represented as a lowercase o, the gradient design will be represented as a lowercase b. Knowing this, we can decode the URL the same way two websites do. If we were to add a light blue flower charge design, the two new characters added would be mo. If we were to delete this design, it will take away the two characters corresponding to the new flower charge design. This system works not only with pattern designs, but also the base designs. We are still able to change the color of the base design and change the first character in its URL just not deleted, right? Well, nothing is just stopping us from popping it out of the existence from the URL along with its color. You'd think that there's only patterns now and no base for them to be on top of, but luckily there is an auto fix for this. How Optifine handles this is that it gives it an untextured base, similar to how untextured blocks work in normal Minecraft. This occurs when it needs to use a texture that doesn't exist. It will use backup. In this case, the backup is a pitch black base and we can use this to obtain a valid Optifine banner design past the 8 pattern limit. Optifine doesn't actually read how many patterns are present in your design. It only looks at the length of the URL and how many characters there are. Optifine says they don't allow any banner designs with more than 8 pattern designs, but as said, they don't read the designs but rather the URL length. The base banner design isn't counted as a pattern and just adds 2 characters to the URL. With 8 patterns being the max, this gives an additional 16 characters making the total cap 18 characters. If you try to set an Optifine design where the URL has more than 18 characters, it will give you an error. But if you try to set an Optifine design where the URL has 18 or less characters, it will be accepted. Knowing this, we can keep 8 pattern designs and delete the base banner design to have a total of 16 characters. This way we can add one more pattern design to reach the character cap of 18 whilst having 9 patterns. Optifine will read the URL and see 18 characters and it will refrain from giving any errors. 
Your cave will be accepted with 9 pattern designs, and when you use the balance tab in the Optifine website, you can get your glitched Optifine linked again and send it to your friends. The reason this abomination shows up is actually very simple. The link you enter to have as your Optifine cave is saved and brought up again when clicking on its design here. When the link is clicked on, the website automatically assumes that the first two characters in the URL are for the same base banner design. This is because it was never expected to be anything else since it's always supposed to be an automatic function. It reads the first two characters the way it's supposed to. The first character corresponds to its color while the second character corresponds to the pattern. The character that corresponds to the base banner design is a lowercase a, but since the second character is corresponding to a pattern design and not the base design, it's shown as nothing since it's expected to be the character that corresponds to the banner design. This is why the first pattern design is missing, but the color it had is used for the base banner design all of a sudden. So in conclusion, remember that having a glitched banner design doesn't mean anything bad will happen. It's completely safe and it will not lead to the deletion of your Optifine cave. Thanks for everyone who made it to the entire video. If you found any of this helpful or interesting, then be sure to subscribe to Flex down below. And be sure to check out my channel as well down in the description and watch my high quality content much, much higher quality content.